know I love to work out at home and today I will give you all of my lovely followers uh, five exercises with a water bottle. Now, why water bottle? Because not all of us are investing into weight. And to be honest, if you're not doing something really hardcore and very specific on your body, and you just want some maintenance and you want a little bit more of an effect on your muscles, water bottle is a good way to go. Now, this one is a very old water bottle, so don't talk about the plastic, I understand. Plastic is bad. I had this from very long time ago and I just filled it up with water and it's just forever here in my house. So I'm trying to support the planet as much as I can. <laughs> anyway, stick around and I'm gonna show you how you can exercise with the water bottle and how you can improve your body and your shape. And of course, if you're not my subscriber, well, what are you waiting for? Exercise number one is for your biceps. This part right here. So now, when you have, if you have two water bottles, you can do both arms at the same time, but since we're saving the planet, you can use one and just change the hands. So all you need to do is make sure you have a good grip, so to make sure that you don't hurt yourself. And all you're gonna do, keep the elbow bent, and one thing that you need to do is just gently start releasing it and then gently start bringing it back. Now, at no point actually we want to have a straight arm and then with momentum pushing. It's so easy to hurt ourselves. We just need to be really, really focused and gentle. So the best way to do it is to make sure that the elbow is never straight and also it's a very good idea to make sure you keep on doing it slow. If you do it slow, most likely you're not gonna hurt yourself and you will always have a constant engagement in the muscle. Now, when I do this exercise, of course, do like a set of 10, then go to the other arm, then again come back and do two or three rounds to actually have a nice impact on your arms. Now, what also is really important when you do this exercise is to make sure you engage the core. If your core is relaxed, your body is going to be slightly weird and the posture is going to be weird and it's not good for anything. So just make sure you engage that core when you're focusing on doing your exercises on your bicep. It's actually good not just for the bicep but a little bit for the shoulder as well. You're going to feel it actually burning everywhere in your arm. And that is a fantastic way at home to slightly work on your arm muscles. Well, mostly biceps. Exercise number two on your arms is also very nice to do shoulder raises. So what we're gonna do again, have a really nice grip here on this bottle. And then we're gonna just slightly open it to the side like this. And our elbow is kind of almost straight, almost. And all we're gonna do again, we gauge the core and now it's shoulder raises. So we're gonna be raising the arm up and we're gonna slightly bring it above our head. And then we're gonna slightly start bending that elbow and place it to where it came from. Again, the most important thing is to do it slowly and control. And that is a fantastic exercise again on your arms and a little bit on your shoulder blades and your back once you start raising here. Of course, again, if you had two, you would be doing two at once, but if you're only using one after a rep of 10, let's say, you can pick the number that you feel comfortable and then build up on top of that number. There's no point to do too many when you can't really handle the few, right? And it's all about the form, not about how many you're gonna do. So then you, of course, change it. You again get yourself in a position and you're raising it upwards above your head and control pushing it down. Upwards above your head and control pushing it down. That is super duper difficult to do if you do it slowly. So you're gonna immediately feel effect and all you do is using a water bottle. Exercise number three, squats. It's always nice to do squats with a little bit of weight because you get a little bit more of an effect when you do so. So you don't need to keep going back and forth, back and forth. You can do a set of 10, less reps, 
but you're gonna feel a little bit more effect because you're gonna have weights on you. So now, one efficient way, you could just hold like this when you do the squats, but then if you bring the arms slightly out, still keeping the elbows bent, but you engaging your core and you're keeping those arms up, then when you do the squat, you still have the extra weight when you do it, but you're working your arms at the same time and not just the arms, you're actually working this part of your body, your chest as well. On top of that, because your arms in front of you and to keep the balance and not go forward, you're gonna feel like you're trying to keep your back straight and that is amazing for doing a deep squat. So I like many different kinds of squats, but I recommend for this one, the safest way to do it without actually, you know, going forwards or backwards, is a slightly wider squat. You open your knees to both sides, your toes are open, and you're just trying to sink into the squat with your back straight and those arms holding the water bottle. I promise you, this is not an easy exercise, and after you do the rep of 10, you will feel it. And then if you repeat it a couple of more times, it's an amazing exercise, not just for your legs and boom boom, but also for your arms and your chest. This next exercise brings us down to the floor and we're gonna do an exercise for the core. This exercise for the core, I call it twist. Some people call it Russian twist, but doing it with a water bottle, again, it's just so much more efficient. So I'll just show you the exercise in general. I actually showed this exercise in my previous core video because I just think it's a fabulous exercise in general for your core and sideways to do it is amazing for the sides. So basically we're sitting in this kind of position and all I need to do, keep my knees bent, I put my hands behind my knees and I just stretch a little bit here and when I feel a little bit of engagement in my core, that's when I know it's fantastic position. And when I keep my knees and feet together, I make sure that when I twist my arms, I'm only twisting through my core, so then I will immediately feel an engagement here. Now, all you need to do is get that water bottle just like this, you hold it sideways, and you start twisting with it. And that is so much more difficult to do than without it, of course, it's extra weight. And now, when you do so, again, remember to do it slow. Don't jerk yourself. Make sure you really engage your core. You don't do anything to your back. And just try to move your arms, and naturally your core will move as much as necessary. When you do this exercise, make sure you keep counting. And this one, you can actually count 10 to both sides. So one, one, two, two. Does that make sense? And then, of course, have a little breather. Then again, come back to your position where you engage that core and you try and do that again. I love this exercise and most importantly, the love handles. That's what is really difficult to get. And with this kind of exercise, including that little bit of weight is what's gonna make the huge difference. Final exercise, exercise number five. We're gonna now go a little bit more into our core positioning, but I'm going to show you again without the water bottle and then with the water bottle. So technique itself, and I apologize for the rudeness, but we're going to have our legs open, okay? So now I'm going to lay down on the floor and basically what I will do, I will make sure that I have my water bottle here and then with the water bottle, I'm going to start coming up and up, then down and down. Now, what do we want to make sure we do? I'm gonna try and show you slightly sideways how that looks. What we want to make sure that we're not jerking our neck. So the water bottle actually is gonna help us to do it correctly. Cause we're gonna have all that weight here, we're gonna have to make sure we push that weight upwards. And what that means, we're gonna be using our shoulders to come up and when we're there, we're gonna raise it to position of a straight back. And then again, in order not to fall over with the water bottle, we're gonna have to start collapsing that back and gently placing the shoulders down and then putting the arms down as well. Like not completely to the floor, but just a little bit. And that actually with water bottle is gonna make you do it more correctly. So I'll demonstrate from here now. We get into the position, the water bottle is here, and I start raising. I raise the arms up 
and now I push the arms up with my shoulder blades. Using that core, and once I get into that position, I raise my arms up and I make sure my back is straight. After that, I collapse my back again. The water bottle is where I can see it. My eyes are looking at it. I put my shoulders down, and as I do, I start relaxing my hands down. But before I put the bottle on the floor, I'm engaged. And again, I start raising it up, looking at that bottle, and then coming down onto the shoulder blades, and then the water bottle is going down. Now, that is my exercise number five because it's not easy to do. But once you can do it, it's a very, very efficient workout. Now, I'm gonna try it. I'm not sure whether you can see me from here. Let's hope for the best. I just want you to see sideways what I mean with my back. So when the water bottle is here, look, I'm bringing it where I can see it, and then I'm pushing with my shoulders upwards. Once I do straight back, and then I'm going first with my lower back, then with my shoulders, and only then again I'm engaging the water bottle. Yes? That's a super, extremely effective uh, exercise and you're actually doing a little bit with coordination, you're keeping your eye on the bottle. It's a full-on exercise, super duper good. Give it a go, but just be careful. Don't do anything like crazy and make sure that bottle doesn't land on your face. Well, at least the good thing is, if it would be an actual weight, you could actually hurt yourself. If the water bottle <laughs> goes on your head, you're more likely to survive the damage. So, you're welcome. That's it guys, my five exercises for you that you can do at home using a water bottle. Now, I know it's a little bit an alternative, but I, I'll be honest with you, I do exercises every single day and I don't really have any weights. I use a chair, I use a water bottle, I have like um, elastic bands and stuff. But of course, if you're trying to really build your bottle, your bottle, <laughs> really, you see, I'm thinking about this bottle. If you're really trying to build your body, then the one water bottle is not gonna be enough. You're gonna have to have more weight or at least do more body weight training. But this is a fantastic start. It's for somebody who just would like to keep up with their body. They would like to just make a little bit of an effort, but they don't wanna go and buy weights and really commit to something. So this is a very good alternative. It's kind of fun to do as well. Um, and also it gives you an opportunity to when you're stuck in some other place and there's nothing to use There's always somewhere water where you can buy and just use that Now that's it. The exercises are done. Make sure you do them and enjoy them and Make sure you leave a like to this video if you like this video or if you don't like, just do it because you're a nice person. <laughs> and of course, subscribe to my channel. I always, always welcome new subscribers. It's one big family here at Dance with Rasa. Make sure you're part of this family. And of course, you're gonna have here on the side somewhere little other videos that I recommend, something related to this subject. We have some exercises with the chair and we're gonna have some exercises with the core as well. In general, since we talked about the core, maybe you should check it out as well and see in general what kind of core exercises I recommend. So have a look, enjoy yourself, and I will see you very soon in other videos. Mwah.